there's nothing more entertaining than the Freaky Friday storyline, unless of course you're counting Disney's musical adaptation of it. While musicals are filled with joyful moments, there's always more to a story than meets the eye. Stick around to find out about the shocking upbringing of one of the lead actresses. First time visiting our channel? Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to The Things for more amazing content. Now on to 10 things about the Freaky Friday movie Disney doesn't want you to know. The book versus the musical. Mom edition. Freaky Friday is a child's novel that was written by author Mary Rogers back in 1972. Her work inspired many spin-offs, one of them being Disney's musical rendition of Freaky Friday. To say that there are some notable differences between the book and the film would be an understatement. A major difference being that Rogers' novel barely included a mother figure at all. While it's difficult to imagine Disney's Freaky Friday without the hilarious Catherine Blake, this is how Rogers intended it to be. If the musical had stayed true to the novel, it would have begun with Ellie Blake waking up in her mother's body without the slightest clue of how her soul's transfusion came to be. We would have seen her desperately searching for her own body while trying to balance her mother's hectic lifestyle. While this storyline has major intrigue, we can't imagine Disney's Freaky Friday without the presence of its two protagonists. Swapping bodies with your mother is hard enough as it is, so why make it even more difficult by adding a missing person to the mix? It goes without saying that movies inspired by novels don't always follow the same guidelines. So stay tuned as other differences between the two versions are coming your way. The Magical Hourglass Novel-inspired movies tend to differ from their own original concept. Well, Freaky Friday isn't your average novel, and this is because it's been turned into a movie on more than one occasion. As many of you already know, Catherine and Ellie's body swap occurred while they were playing a game of tug-of-war with a magical hourglass. Amidst the struggle, the mother and daughter duo sang about how they wished the other could understand them. And well, their wish came true. The hourglass worked its magic, but not before Ellie freaked out and tossed it to the floor where it shattered into a million pieces. In 1995's Freaky Friday, the body swap occurred due to the use of a magical amulet. However, in 2003's Freaky Friday, the swap was brought on by a third-party character who used magical fortune cookies as bait. While the protagonists in the Freaky Friday movie had no way of seeing the body swap coming, the same can't be said about the novel, since after all, it was the mother who swapped bodies with her daughter to teach her a valuable lesson, and surely it's a lesson she'll never forget. Cozy Zulsturf wrote the opening song to Freaky Friday. By now it's no secret that the talented Cozy Zulsturf has dabbled in songwriting. As a matter of fact, she tends to find a way to incorporate songs in nearly every production she takes part in. While filming 2014's Dauphin Tell 2, Cozy had the opportunity to co-write the movie's end credit song alongside Eric Burden. Since then, she has even released her debut EP Originals, which features seven sound contracts. So when Cozy got the opportunity to co-write Freaky Friday's main title song alongside Matthew Tischler, she jumped at it. According to the actress, Disney has extremely specific ideas for this main title song which narrowed down their creative freedom. Regardless of this, the amazing duo managed to create a killer hit, all the while respecting the rules that Disney had set before them. Writing a song is no joke, which is why only truly gifted individuals can master this art. When it comes to Cozy, she made it clear that song Writing is one of her biggest passions, hence why she's been dabbling in this field since she was a teeny bopper. So next time you hear Disney's Freaky Friday song, you'll know exactly who created it. Tell us what you think about Cozy's songwriting abilities in the comments. Heidi Blickenstaff played Ursula in The Little Mermaid musical. Now let's move on to bigger and badder things. Or in other words, Ursula's the Wicked Sea Witch. Many of us grew up watching Walt Disney's The Little Mermaid and consequently fearing the movie's antagonist, Ursula. This hated character might have had sass on her side, but what she had in style, she lacked in heart. So what do Disney's Freaky Friday and The Little Mermaid have in common? None other than Heidi Blickenstaff. Heidi plays the role of Catherine Blake in The Freaky Freaky Friday musical, and while her character may seem a little stressed out, none of us would dare call her evil. The same can't be said about her character in The Little Mermaid musical, which is the one and only Ursula. Heidi is an all-time favorite when it comes to Broadway musicals, and she was deemed the perfect fit for this sinister role. It's quite shocking to see how many faces this actress can put on. While Ursula and Catherine Blake might be very different characters, they both had the pleasure of being portrayed by the talented Heidi Blickenstaff. This leaves us with one 
question, is there anything this versatile actress can't do? The fifth iteration of Freaky Friday, but the first musical edition. So most of us are familiar with the fact that Disney's Freaky Friday is a remake of the 2003 movie by the same name which starred Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis. However, not many of us know just how old the Freaky Friday plotline really is. This tale is as old as time, dating as far back as 1972. Originally based on a novel written by Mary Rogers, Freaky Friday was turned into a movie just four years after its release date. The 1976 film starred actress Barbara Harris and Jodie Foster. Since then, Freaky Friday has been readapted a total of five times, which is pretty impressive. So what makes Disney's Freaky Friday different from all the rest? Well, it's been reimagined in a musical way. The presence of dance and song allows us viewers to get a sneak peek into what Catherine and Ellie are really going through. Musicals give viewers the opportunity to read characters like an open book, which can help us feel closer to them. The Freaky Friday novel has two sequels. With so much hype surrounding the Freaky Friday plotline, it's surprising to find out that this novel actually has two sequels to its name. The original storyline tells the tale of the Andrews family, which consists of Annabelle, her young her brother Ben and their mother Ellen Jean. When Ellen Jean and her daughter stop seeing eye to eye, she resorts to swapping their bodies to teach her daughter a lesson. This novel was published in 1972, and by the time 1982 came rolling around, two sequels had been already created. A Billion for Boris, which was published in 1974, told the tale of Annabelle and her friend Boris finding a futuristic TV set. This sequel was followed by Summer Switch, which held a similar plotline to Freaky Friday. However, instead of focusing on Annabelle and her mother, it told the story of Ben and his father Bill, who switched bodies for the entire summer. This movie hit the big screen in 1984 as part of the ABC After School Special Series. While Freaky Friday was the most successful on-screen reenactment, Roger's other novels were not swept under the rug. Surprised to hear this? Wait until you see what number one is. Cozy Zolstorf wasn't originally interested in musical theater. Whether you're familiar with the name Cozy Zolstorf or not, that makes little difference because it's only a matter of time before you are. Cozy plays the role of Ellie Blake in Disney's Freaky Friday musical, and while the role is challenging, it wasn't her first time singing and dancing in front of the camera. When Cozy was just eight years old, she was approached and encouraged to audition for the Annie musical. However, the young actress wasn't keen on joining a theatrical production. When push came to shove, the future star gave the production a chance and auditioned. Despite wanting to watch the musical in Instead of acting in it, Cozy's audition landed her the role of Annie. Her incredible performance and experience caused her to fall in love with musical theater. This goes to show that we sometimes need to give something a shot before turning it down completely. Since then, Cozy has landed big time roles in musicals like The Wizard of Oz, Susical the Musical, You're a Good Man Charlie Brown, and The Sound of Music. All this to say that Cozy might never have accomplished her dreams if she hadn't given musical theater a chance it deserved. Heidi Blickenstein that finally lands her dream role. Don't you just love it when someone accomplishes their dreams? Well, we do too. With this in mind, we thought you would like to know something quite special about Heidi Blickenstaff. Heidi plays the role of Catherine Blake in Disney's Freaky Friday, which is a pretty big deal for her. You see, it's been Heidi's dream to play in such a production, hence why she was nearly first in line to audition. When it comes to Broadway musicals, Heidi is somewhat of an heirloom. When Heidi found out that Freaky Friday the musical had been announced, she literally jumped for joy. The experience of having previously worked with the play's writers in Next to Normal gave the actress the upper hand she needed, and before long she was cast as one of the leads. When asked what her dream role was, Heidi exclaimed that she loved being the first to try something new, and that the Freaky Friday production exceeded her wildest dreams. Not only did Heidi get cast in the Broadway production, but she was also cast in the TV movie, which many of us will get to enjoy on August 10, 2018. Cozy Zulstorff was home Homeschooled. Now let's spill the beans about Cozy Zulstorff's upbringing. For whatever reason, many view homeschooling with a negative light, but after the following facts, your views might change for good. Since going to school and being educated by teachers is the norm, it can be difficult to see homeschooling as a normal commodity. However, the truth is that many young children receive their education from home and love every second of it. Take Cozy for example. This young actress was homeschooled for most of her life, which helped her find the time to audition for roles during daylight hours. Cozy's first on-screen role was as Hazel Haskett in 2011's Dauphin Tell. Filming this movie would never have been possible if Cozy wasn't homeschooled.
homeschooled in the first place. Funny enough, Cozy's character in this movie was homeschooled as well, which helped the two connect on a deeper level. It's a popular belief that homeschooled children don't socialize enough, but this all depends on how their parents choose to integrate them into society. Since Cozy only had to study for about three hours a day, she had extra time to follow her dreams and make friends along the way. Emma Hunton plays the role of Ellie Blake in the live musical, not Cozy Zulsdorf. Now it might be hard to believe, but Cozy Zulsdorf wasn't the first choice for Disney's Freaky Friday musical. The same can't be said about Heidi Blickenstaff. However, she's been with the production from the get-go. While Cozy might be the lead protagonist in the Disney Channel movie, the role of Ellie Blake is played by Emma Hunton in the live musical. So why keep one actress but not the other? Truth is, Disney had another vision for their on-screen rendition. Regardless of this direction, Emma seems to enjoy acting on stage more than she does behind the camera. Either way, choosing between these two actors must have been difficult, but in the end, we're happy to see Cozy living it up on the big screen. At the end of the day, it's pretty obvious that Cozy and Heidi were the perfect choices for Disney's Freaky Friday. Do you think Disney made the right choice? Or would you have rather seen Emma Hunton playing the role of Ellie Blake in the on-screen rendition? Let us know what you think in the comments. And there you have it. Those are the 10 things about the Freaky Friday movie Disney doesn't want you to know. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.